Hello again, people! Finally, I have received the long-awaited accessory product for Taranis X9D Plus and X9D of course, it's FR Sky M9 gimbals. They have just arrived yesterday and today I'm introducing it to you and want to share my own opinion about it. Let's start with the package. It's small and neat. Gimbals are completely similar, therefore, ordering any two would give you all you need and there is no chance to make a mistake. Some technical stuff on the package. A first sky logo and, if you open up the box, here is our precious little cutie inside. I wish to have some more sturdy packaging, but as long as it's shipped in the additional box, it should be fine. Beside the gimbal itself, we are provided with four new hex screws that would be used during gimbal installation. Original gimbals use self-tapping screws and M9 gimbals use regular ones, so you'll need them for sure. So why I'm so excited and why this product is so important? and I would say is a must upgrade for a Taranis owner. Let's go over its features and differences it makes in comparison to original Taranis sticks. First, it is a hull sensor based gimbal. Let me explain. Mirror potentiometers used in the original gimbals rely on physical contact and the subject to wear over time. Hull sensors in M9 use magnetic force instead of mechanical friction between the electrical parts to produce the necessary amount of resistance or signal voltage. Therefore, there are no friction parts in M9 gimbals that would wear eventually. Such gimbals might work much longer and its electrical characteristics would not deteriorate with time unless you overheat the magnets. Not only you have more durable parts, but also the overall stick movement feel gets smoother and the overall stick precision also improves in the absence of wearable mechanical friction components. Secondly, M9 gimbals have CNC aluminum base plate that adds a lot to the overall stiffness of the gimbal construction. Very high force should be applied to show any sign of flex, if any. This also plays a role in high precision rate of this product. Moreover, M9 features aluminum crossbars, which are much better than plastic when it comes to centering. Third, the product has no disadvantages compared to original sticks. It features full bearing design, adjustable spring tension, ratchet possibility and throttle could also be spring loaded. Stick tips are now designed better, with some sharp edges and the length of the sticks has wider adjustments. Now I hope that I help to understand why this product is so anticipated by many Taranis owners. How hard is it to install in your radio? This is as easy as it can be. M9 gimbals are plug and play products. Tools that are needed a Phillips screwdriver, 1.5 and 2.5 mm head screwdriver and some tool to release the SC and SD switches on Taranis. I've used scissors. Open the shell by removing those six screws and releasing SE and SG switches. Remove the battery prior to this. When inside, unplug those connectors, three connectors coming from each gimbal. Unscrew eight front screws that hold gimbals in place and remove them. I want to make some quick comparison of original M9 gimbals. Original gimbals are fully made of plastic and weight less. 49 grams per stick. M9 have lots of aluminum and weight 10 grams more, 59 grams per stick. So, Taranis would get 20 grams heavier with M9 gimbals installed. Newer gimbals are shorter in height, but the stick length in the upper point is almost the same as the original gimbal, which means that adjustable length has a wider range. Cables and connectors are the same, and the length of each cable makes it apparent where it should be connected to on the board. The central part with all electrical components and bearings is still made of plastic. Ok, back to installation process. The only thing left is to put the gimbals inside the radio. Use the provided hair screws to tie them and plug three connectors back. Two notice up there. First, be careful with the cables that come from upper switches and sliders. Second, place M9 gimbals so that hell sensor would be directed outside the shell. Adjust the tension and ratchet. Close the shell, tie all screws and you are done. The only thing left is to calibrate the sticks in system menu. Here is a quick look at original gimbal monitor on the left. Notice the small erratic number changes. And the newer gimbals on the right. Much better. So, my final word and personal opinion. This product is great and it is a must-have upgrade for any Taranis X9D Plus and X9D owner, especially at this price point. A first sky claimed the official price to be $19.5 excluding VAT. Absolutely great upgrade and absolutely worth every cent. Price quality durability of M9 is somewhere in the stratosphere. It really feels smoother and more precise especially when centering. And I believe that most of the future users would agree with my personal opinion. Upgrade, feel the difference and have a good time playing with it. Stay tuned, more reviews to come.